Chapter 5, Lesson 5, Writing Equations in Point-Slope Form. All right, so basically you have all this information, and we just need to write the equation in a certain form. That's it. So we're going to write the point-slope form of an equation. Here it is. And you read it y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity of x minus x sub 1. So here is the point-slope form. If somebody says, hey, write something in point-slope form, first of all, you write it in that order. All right, so the next step is we substitute in what we know. Well, the two things that we know is, come over here, we have the y. What is our y value in our coordinate? Well, the y value of our coordinate is right here. So we bring it over. We have negative 2. Ooh, that will be interesting. And then we bring down our m. That's our slope. So we look back at our description. Hey, here's our slope right here, 2 thirds. Our x. And then we want x sub 1. What is the x value in our coordinate? And that is located right back there. So we have x minus 3. All right, so that's our substitution step. Next, you're in algebra, you always simplify. So anything that you can simplify, you do. Well, look at the double negatives you have right here. We have the opposite of subtracting, so that's going to change to y plus 2. Over on the right-hand side, nothing really to simplify because you want to leave it in this order. So we have 2 thirds times the quantity of x minus 3. This is your point-slope form. Don't change it from that. You just leave it in that order. It's as simplified as you can. All right, next thing. We want to write an equation of a horizontal line. Now, you need to think about what the horizontal line looks like. Anytime you're graphing, talking algebra, you need to think, OK, here's the graph. I have a horizontal line. What should that slope be? Hmm. What should that slope be? All right. So it's going to go through this coordinate, my x and my y value. It's horizontal. So the slope is 0. Let me rephrase that. The slope is 0. OK. So we're going to substitute that here. We get 0 x minus, what's my x value? Well, my x value is back here. It's 1 half. We go over here, y minus. So we have y minus, and we want to find our y value, which was up here, 1. We have to look at it if there's anything that we can simplify. On the left-hand side, there's nothing to simplify, so it's y minus 1. On the right-hand side, I have this binomial that's being multiplied by 0. Well, anytime you multiply by 0, you should know you get 0 as an answer. Now, we have the additive inverse. I want to get y by itself, so I add 1, add 1, cancels out. I get y equals 1. That is as most simplified as you can be. Now, if you think about that, that's saying that there is zero slope. If you think about your intercept slope formula, the mx is gone because it's a zero. So that was canceled out. The 1 is your y-intercept. So that is your most simplistic form. Now, we want to write an equation in standard form. Standard form is right here. AX plus BY equals C. Now, first thing we do, we substitute our values right here into the equation. So, we do. Now, we want to multiply each side by 5 to eliminate the decimal. OK, 
Okay. So, obviously this is distributed property. So I get 5y minus 20. 5 times that gives you 8. And then this comes down to x plus 2. Now, step 5. I want to do the to simplify and do the additive inverse. So at this point, I'm going to, oh, don't forget to do the distributive property here. So I get 8x plus 16 equals 5y minus 20. Now, you have to think, where are you going to end up here? You want to end up with x and y on one side. That's what the formula up here says. You want to get x and y on one side, the constant on the other. So, I have y already on my left-hand side. I want to get the 20 to the other side. So I'm going to add 20, and I'm going to add 20. Cancel it out. I get 5y equals 8x plus 36. Well, I have my constant on the right-hand side. i got to get the 8x to the other side. So that means subtract 8x. Subtract 8x. Cancel it out. Need to simplify. Negative 8x plus 5y equals 36. Now, at that point, we are in the correct order. I have ax plus by equals c. My x variable, then my y variable, then my constant. So that I have just manipulated from one form to the other. Okay, example four, writing the equation in slope-intercept form. So again, we're going to end up in this form, y equals mx plus b. So, we start off with the original information. It's in point-slope form. So, first thing we have to do is distributive property. On the left-hand side, we have y plus 1 equals negative 3x minus 9. We're going to subtract 1 from each side. Negative 1, negative 1, cancel out. I'm going to simplify. y equals negative, whoops, let's rewrite that so it looks better. y equals negative 3x, subtract 10. Now, if you're careful about this and you stop and you slow down and you think about this, you're thinking ahead, you already are in the correct order. y equals mx plus b. There's your constant, there's your slope, there's your answer. At this point, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask your teacher.